guys, so today I am at Browns Hatch, we've got a track day going on, so motorbikes and also cars, just normal road cars and there's a few, looks like a few proper track bikes on this one, uh, so Cable 7 I saw earlier, a few other quite cool cars as well, so uh, stay tuned. So guys, it was a pretty cool day out, I mean it's free, it's just a track day so I decided to go down Browns Hatch um, in the UK and just take some photos really and a bit of video to see what was going on. The the guys or girls who are driving or riding were obviously just having a, a really good day. A couple of mishaps, uh, motorcyclists came off and a, and a car crashed into the gravel pit, which we'll see a bit later. Um, but using the RX-10 Mark IV, super lightweight, I mean I've been up there before and I was carrying around a the 150 to 600mm f6.3 from Sigma and you'd had enough within an hour or so one kilo all in one camera that's very capable as you can see the, the shots are sharp and clear and uh, it's locking onto everything so quickly and the fact you've got 24 frames a second you've got slow motion you've got um, obviously 4k video and HD video work really really well uh, the light actually was in our favour. It was cloudy, a little bit dull, not too much. Uh, the light was still nice, but heavily diffused. So in in some respects, it was actually really good. So a lot less reflections. Um, I could also, um, without using any filters at all, I could actually stop the camera down to f16 and ISO 64, and then almost really, really bring the um, the shut speeds down to get some blurring. And motion in some of the images which was really good uh, you know so we had a few cool shots like this the um, the pace car and everything or the safety car uh, there was a few cars on there there was um, obviously the Nissan here I think it was a 350z there was a Honda Integra I think or a Prelude one of the two um, heavily tuned up an old Nova not seen one of them for years I imagine that had a 2 litre engine stuffed in it because that radiator doesn't look like it was standard looks a lot bigger than the original. Uh, roll cage inside as well. Uh, that's the Honda, that made some cool noises. That was pretty cool. Um, they were the two sort of cars that were sort of stuck out from the rest a bit. Oh look at that one, it's lost it. What? Oh fuck! That's a cool shot though. And as you know, you can't have your eyes everywhere on the track and the car lost control. And uh, I still managed to get a couple of shots. Lucky the RX-10 is really, really quick at focusing. So uh, I got that shot. Just dust. Um, which also turned out to be actually a really good shot for a couple of the shots here. Uh, with that MR2 coming through the dust, the big cloud of dust. And the, the guy's actually there. You can see him looking in the mirror going, what the hell? <laughs> um, he actually lost control behind behind that car so just quite uh, quite spectacular unfortunately I did miss the, the full on the shot unfortunately but never mind um, and then obviously the uh, re recovery truck and uh, safety car came back out and they, they dragged him out of the stones um, and then told him to limp back round back to the pits He just wants a nail, isn't he? <laughs> That's brilliant. Someone's going to need new tyres when they go home. I ran up to the um, grandstand as we were as we were heading back to leave and it gave you a really good view of pretty much all of the track bar of where the trees are and by the far side of the, uh, the track there, the building in the way where the pits were. 
but it allowed me a few a few cool shots there. Um, nothing I've decided to really use, but you know, it's there. As you can see, the clouds were, were quite thick. The um, so the light was quite flat, but also you know it was in our favour. So anyway, so this allowed me to do some panning shots like this. So f16. I started messing around at one sixtieth of a second, but actually one two hundredth to two fiftieth of a second seemed to be about right. So ISO 64, and I was just panning. And it's a case of panning at the same speed they are, and they're probably doing about 50, 60, 70, maybe 80 miles an hour in that bend. But yeah, I've got some relatively relatively sharp shots there, and it, it worked quite well. Um, it's just a case of messing around, really. But the benefit of having the, um, the RX-10 Mark IV was how easy and how quick it's focusing on something, giving you time to actually pan, and, and it will lock on. And stay locked on uh, to the bike with no issues whatsoever. Whilst shooting through the fences as well, I, I flicked the um, focus limiter switch, so from three it was focusing three meters and into fin infinity. So basically, it would never ever try and focus on the fence, which is a really good thing. Uh, that was the only one downside. When you go wide angle, obviously the fence is now visible in shot. Um, this guy here absolutely lost it. His peg, he obviously went leant over it a bit too far, and his rear peg lifted the back wheel off the ground, and off he went, and he skidded off to the um, onto the grass. Luckily, no no lasting damage. He wasn't hurt, and uh, he he got back up on the bike, uh, checked it over, and off he went again, and he was soon back out. He obviously went back to the pits and just to to get a double check, just which, which was fine. He looked a little bit embarrassed, um, so. Uh, yeah, he obviously went back to the pits and had it double checked and then was back out again. So these were panning shots but zoomed in. So I was actually zoomed in about to about 300 millimeters, uh, doing the same settings. Um, as you can see there, you get a really cool shot of the, the track, um, the curb. This one here I quite like, um, just the colors and then obviously you've got the, his, his uh, helmet colors almost match the track colors which is kind of cool as well. This shot here is my favorite one. The guy is doing probably 60 miles an hour looking straight at my camera <laughs> it was absolutely wicked and I got it sharp as well um, you know and you can even see the track uh, curb reflection in there as well so that was really cool and here's one more shot so the Nova and the uh, KGM7 there the KGM7 went tanking past this guy but it almost looks like the Nova had a chance I mean the Nova was pretty quick because obviously it must have a 2 litre engine or similar um, but what a great day out so guys, I hope the video and the photos were up to standard. <laughs> um, it was a really good day out, great fun, and like I say, it was free. So if you look on Brands Hatcher, you can actually go and watch track days. So if you just want to practice some photography, they're happy for you to go to take photos at the side of the track. There's no drama at all. I did email them and ask. Um, but it was you know, really, really fun. Uh, we got some, uh, some good shots there, a um, couple of not so good shots. But that's what it's about isn't it it's challenging you, you, you haven't bought a camera to stick it in auto and just take mediocre shots in auto that are always right you know that we do even with people with lots and lots of experience and many years under their belt you are going to make the odd mistake um, anyway guys so please subscribe please click the little notification bell and uh, keep watching more videos coming soon